Hey guys, Henning and Morten from Flip Normals here. In today's video, we are taking you through some of the best game art tutorials we have to offer on the Flip Normals Marketplace. Presented by game artists from Blizzard, Ubisoft, Sucker Punch, just to name a few. We go through a lot of environment and prop focused tutorial, really focusing on AAA game quality techniques. So for everything you need to know in order to get started. We've learned a lot from these, so let's get into it. Before we get into the products, just want to remind you that everything is currently on sale, 40% off on the Flip Normals Marketplace. So if you see anything that you like in this video, make sure to jump on over to the Marketplace and pick up a copy. The first uh, product we, we are going to be looking into is the Handgun Tutorial by Simon Fox. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite tutorials. It's a phenomenal piece of work. It's over 50 hours of real-time work showing you how to make an absolutely incredible asset. Like this isn't just for for games. Like while it's optimized for games, this is full on film quality. It's it's an incredibly impressive piece of work. It focuses heavily on extremely professional techniques. You can watch this tutorial and you will have a full idea of how to do professional assets for basically any game pipeline out there. Yeah, it's taught by Simon Fuchs, who, I mean, nowadays it's like it's ubiquitous with cool gun looking military props uh, when it comes to gaming he works for for blizzard and the guy just knows his stuff you know so he takes you through everything you need to know in order to make props for for games you know you do everything from the high poly low poly uh, the baking doing booleans in zbrush 3 studio max and really focuses a lot on the believable wear and tear and details that would be present in in a prop like this he is very focused on on real world applications. You're not just looking at random techniques here. What you're focusing on is stuff which can be used on day one in any game studio. It, one of them is professional UV mapping techniques, really having solid bakes. It's, it's a good mix between the more technical things and the really sexy things like setting up fancy PBR shaders. He uses uh, Substance Painter to really do the to do like really high level texture painting and then making our amazing materials there and then finalizing up with uh, beautiful renders in Marmoset, which are then enhanced in Photoshop so that you can not just make an awesome prop with great models and textures, but also have a really fancy portfolio piece like you can see in the gallery. Next up, we have the making a Zelda style environment in Unreal Engine 4. So this is a tutorial by us presented by Kim Yarologlu. And he did a fantastic job in this tutorial creating this stylized environment. We went back and forth with him sort of to figure out how to create a very appealing environment, focusing more on the end result than specific beginner techniques along the way. So keep in mind, this is also for more advanced artists. There's not that much hand holding in this tutorial. It's more focused on the people that want to know how to get to a result like this. Maybe you've been working with games for a few years and you're looking at this and thinking okay there's some particle stuff in here some blueprints really nice lighting and colors how do i get to that result it's heavily focused on unreal but it also uses uh, maya as well to create like nice models and trim sheets but it's primarily an unreal tutorial and in there you'll you learn how to do like all the blockouts making master materials how does trim sheets work and uh, how do you light everything and then using Gaia to create really awesome environments and, and terrains. Next up we have our modeling and texturing props for games by Hannah Watts and very much in the same style as Simon Fuchs where we look at industry techniques on how to create props like this for games by a games artist who is you know a professional. It's not as long form as Simon Fuchs's ones. Uh, this is a more Yes, it's not as in depth, but it still takes you through everything you need to know. Anna is a senior games artist at Ubisoft. She's been doing this for a long time. So she will share a lot of very valuable information with you on how to do this from start to finish. Block out, high poly, baking, UV maps, and everything takes place inside of 3ds Max, presentation and marmor set, and painting the textures with Photoshop and Substance Painter. This is an awesome tutorial this is kind of similar to the um, 
the weapon tutorial by Simon Fox as well, in the sense that it's an amazing tutorial when it comes to how high quality the end result is. It's, it's 18 hours long and it shows everything start to finish. It uses three Studio Max, Seabrush and Painter. The skill level is beginner to intermediate, so it's it's going quite at a, at a quite comfortable pace, so you can really follow along with this. Tim uh, Bearholz is a senior uh, weapons artist at Digital Extremes, and he's worked on really cool titles like Far Cry, Splinter Cell, and Crisis, and much more. So it really focuses also on very professional looking techniques. You learn how to do uh, the modeling, both the high and low poly, industry level UVs, Seaver sculpting to really break it up as well. You have smoothing groups and making maps in or baking maps in Painter, and then focusing on really triple A quality game textures as well. Then we have trim sheets for game artists from Chunk, who did this tutorial for us. And trim sheets is one of those elusive things where I guess no one really knows what they are, so everyone kind of makes up their own definition of it. And that's exactly why I chunked this tutorial for us to sort of demystify how to use and how to effectively use trim sheets in order to speed up your workflows when you're working for games. Like not everything needs to be a hero asset. There's a lot of background props and a lot of background assets that need to go into games. And that's exactly where trim sheets can help you speed up your workflow. Yeah, it's not just about being able to texture every single prop using all the fancy techniques. A lot of it is about being a good production artist, and this will very much help you become a good production artist in games. Yeah, I would say this is very essential for any environment artist that wants to get into games. Knowing how to do these workflows and how to do them efficiently will definitely up your chances of getting a job. Another one as well by Simon Fox. This is like a really good old school tutorial by now. It's it's phenomenal. It focuses on making a military radio from scratch as well over 28 hours with uh, with real time teaching. It's it's really essential knowledge for for all gold game artists because this also focuses on general steps involved from doing like the block out in max where he focuses heavily on design principles making the high poly really making optimized low poly for games how do you do a professional level uv layout making color id maps working in substance painter with bringing both the high and low poly doing all the fancy baking how to fix baking errors which is the bane of every <laughs> game artist's existence yeah authoring mat advanced materials and then presenting your work in marmoset again with a focus on making beautiful renders for your portfolio. And that's one of the things that I think Simon Fuchs does so well. He really nails the, the presentation, which in the end is one of the things that are the most important, especially when you're presenting the game studios. Then we have fundamentals of modular kits. Now, this might seem like a, I guess, a very strange topic, but when people first get into games, you know, it's really about this tutorial teaches them how to think more efficiently. As, as with the trim sheets, making having a modular approach when you're modeling can really speed up your workflow. So that's what this tutorial focuses on, sort of changing your mindset and how to plan ahead and not just jump in, start modeling a corridor, like for the, this example, for we have this sci-fi looking corridor. How do we plan it out, make modular pieces that we could then put together in order to speed up the entire workflow? This is a really awesome series by Taylor Smith, who just finished work on Ghost of Tsushima at, at Sucker Punch. This is a tutorial which focuses far more on fundamentals than how to actually than the technical day-to-day. -day. Fundamentals are so important because they determine why you do everything you do. This, this tutorial is composed of two parts. The first part focuses on shape and general composition, understanding what shape language you use and understanding composition in 3D space. And then part two of it focuses on lighting and color. And with those four elements, you really have a lot of tools which you can use to create stunning environments. While this is fairly low poly and, and simple, it the concepts can be used to create anything. It's kind of like thumbnailing, where you're leaving a fancy environment literally on a piece of like a piece of cloth or like a like a post-it note, and you can scale that up to make make the most epic scenes. It's similar in this tutorial, you use simple tools to create long-lasting compositions to really make your portfolio stronger. And we have character modeling and texturing for games by Nexthood. So this is a great tutorial for anyone looking to get into games. It focuses on 
a stylized pipeline, which at times can be easier than just jumping into AAA sort of graphics, if you will. It teaches you basics, the fundamentals of everything, sculpting, retopology, UVs, baking, poly painting, and then finally texturing as well. It goes through everything in Maya, in Substance Painter, doing the retopology in Topogun, and adding additional details in ZBrush. It's over 23 hours long, so again, quite in depth and keeping in the style with Nektut's tutorials. Everything is shown to you from start to finish, no skips anywhere, so you can be sure that you'll be able to follow along. It's a nice mix of organic and hard surface, which is why I think it's great for beginners because it really teaches you the best of both worlds and when to use what. Then we have uh, another environment tutorial, but this one is more stylized. This is more something World of Warcraft or maybe Diablo, where you're focusing on making this little diorama start to finish. You're starting off with creating a quick block out, and then you'll take this further and uh, going through all different steps, for including sculpting and texturing, and then finally presenting your work. Then we have a Victorian style game environment by Victory 3D, presented by Emil Sleekers. He really he pops up all the time, I feel like. <laughs> uh, this is a massive tutorial. It's 43 hours long, and it takes you through how to create this entire environment from start to finish. It's, yeah, I don't know. It's a massive tutorial that goes through a lot of industry use techniques. You're creating modular pieces, creating all the pillars, the doors, roof, the floor, and how to use all of that inside of Unreal Engine. You'll be going through how to do tileable textures in Designer to really speed up your workflow. When you're working like this and creating these kinds of environments, you don't really want to do too many bespoke things. You want to try and create as many tileables as you can to really speed up your workflow. Finally, you'll be finalizing everything in Unreal for lighting and presentation. And that'll leave you with this super cool looking uh, Victorian style game environment. And for our final tutorial, we are focusing on the Unreal Engine for lighting fundamentals. This is a really cool series which teaches you a lot about lighting in Unreal. It goes between using like basics, how to actually use the different kinds of lights, and then also how to approach lighting. We will make you learn things which you can use on every single scene from here on. Uh, you'll focus on directional lights, skylights, post post-process volume, volumetric fog, and light mass importance volume. Really the core tools which allows you to create stunning lighting in Unreal. So if any of these piqued your interest, make sure to hop over to the Flip Normals Marketplace where all of these, along with everything else on the Marketplace, is currently 40% off. If you browse around for a while, I'm sure you'll find something you like. So head over there and pick something up.